Happy iOS 13 day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you 13 of my favorite iOS 13 features or 13 reasons why you should install iOS 13. And this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Up first, now personally, I've been waiting for this feature for a number of years. Plenty of apps have it already. Now natively built into iOS 13 is dark mode. Now primarily dark mode can be seen in Apple's proprietary apps like messages, calendar, notes, settings, and we have to wait for third party developers to integrate it into their apps. But now there is finally dark mode on the iPhone and you can access dark mode right from control center. So you can add it as a shortcut in control center to turn it directly on or off or you can go into the brightness slider and then there's a toggle in there. Now for me personally, I'm gonna keep dark mode on exclusively. If you have an OLED iPhone, it looks really good. I'm psyched about dark mode because I use my phone all the time and at night when the screen's really bright, a lot of these now, again, native iPhone applications aren't just gonna be this blaring white screen. Number two is something that Apple's calling Quick Path or as I'm gonna to refer to it as the swipe keyboard. Prior to iOS 13, you had the option of typing character by character or installing a third party keyboard that takes advantage of gliding your thumb across the letters to create words. Now that's built into iOS. I'm gonna try and use this new keyboard. Personally, I still really don't like typing on glass keyboards, but this should make things a little bit easier. You don't need to enable the quick path keyboard. It's just built into the keyboard now, so you can either type with your thumbs or just start gliding. Number three, the volume indicator has finally been redesigned. I've been waiting for this to be redesigned for basically iOS's entire history. So before, when you change the volume, this giant volume indicator popped up in the center of the screen. And funny, some apps actually built around this. So if you notice on Instagram, you have a tiny volume indicator on the top. Now in iOS 13, it's this little bar on the side, takes up way less room, and it's just finally been redesigned. Thank you, Apple. Number four is something called audio sharing. So back in the day, I'm talking like wired headphones, CD player days. If you wanted to listen to the same music that your friend was listening to on their CD player, you needed a headphone splitter, like a physical headphone splitter. Now in iOS 13, if you and your friends have AirPods and you both wanna listen to music off of the same phone, you can. Now this is already built into Spotify and I've tested this by pairing two sets of AirPods to my iPhone and they both play music at the exact same time and you can control the volume at the same time. This will come in handy, let's say your phone dies or you wanna listen to the same music your friend's listening to on a long bus ride or an airplane ride, this will come in handy. Number five, you can access your Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth devices right from Control Center. So previously, if you wanted to change your Wi-Fi, you had to go into Settings, Wi-Fi, choose the Wi-Fi from there. Now in iOS 13, you can go into Control Center, either long press or force touch on the Wi-Fi icon, and it brings up your list of Wi-Fi networks. So easy. And the same goes for Bluetooth. Long press on the Bluetooth icon, and you can pick your paired devices from there. Apple, it seems like you're listening to your users. I'm very happy about that. Number six, another feature I've waited so long to come to the iPhone, and that is video editing. So there's a handful of new photo editing features in iOS 13, but I think most importantly, let's say you accidentally recorded a video in portrait mode when you really meant to change it into landscape. The only way previously you can rotate your video is if you did it in a third party app or just off the iPhone. Now in iOS 13, you can crop your videos, you can change the perspective on your videos, you can even apply color filters to your videos. Very happy to see this as well. Number seven. Now this isn't a feature that really applies to me because I've got the newest iPhones here on the table, but if you're watching this video and you have all the way back to the 6S from 2015, Apple is supporting what I would say are legacy devices at this point in 2019. So iOS 13 can be installed on every device up to date going back to the iPhone 6S. So if you're hanging on to an older iPhone, you might be in luck. Number eight is something called sign in with Apple. So as you probably know, if you go to basically any website, you install a new app or a game, it asks you to sign in. 
Most people probably use Facebook or Google to do this, but Apple has built their own system for this. Now, I admittedly haven't really tried this yet, but Joanna Stern over at the Wall Street Journal has tried it. They've got a video and a write-up, which I'll leave in the description. I'm personally gonna use Sign In with Apple because I wanna keep sort of all my sign-ins at once. And from what I understand from what Apple has on their developer site, this method is super secure. Number nine is Apple Arcade. So you're familiar with the App Store, you're familiar with iPhone games, and now inside the App Store, there's a dedicated tab called Apple Arcade. And in iOS 13, Apple is giving you a one month free trial of Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is a subscription service new in iOS 13, costs $5 a month and gets you access to exclusive iOS only games. But again, if you install iOS 13, there's a one month free trial, probably worth checking out. Number 10 is the new Find My app. So prior to iOS 13, there were two apps, Find My iPhone and Find My Friends. In iOS 13, Apple is combining those two. And behind the scenes, Apple built something into iOS 13 they're calling offline tracking. If your device gets lost or stolen and it's offline, as in it's not connected to cellular or Wi-Fi, the device will emit low energy Bluetooth signals that will anonymously communicate to other iOS devices around it and help you track the device better. Now this is something that is beyond my scope of understanding because I'm not an iOS engineer, but you can read all about it on Apple's website. I'm pretty stoked about this. Number 11 is performance, just overall performance. If you install iOS 13, it should make your device a little bit snappier. And if you have an iPhone with Face ID, Face ID is definitely faster in iOS 13. Also, apps from the App Store will now be up to 50% smaller, so they'll take up less room on your device, and app updates will also be smaller. So if you're one of those people that has sort of an always full iPhone, going forward, Apple is making developers make their apps smaller, and app updates will be smaller as well. Number 12 is hardware controller support for iOS. So if you play a lot of mobile games, I personally play PUBG Mobile, and you want to pair or connect a physical controller, like a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, you can now do that in iOS 13. That is pretty cool. And last but not least, number 13 is new Memoji and Animoji. Prior to iOS 13, you can only record videos with Memoji and Animoji, and you can now use them as stickers. And you could do some pretty deep customization to your Memoji. You can give yourself AirPods, for example. But if you want to troll your friends and paste these Memoji or Animoji stickers right into your messages, you can now do that. There are obviously way more than 13 new features in iOS 13, but these were the 13 that stood out to me the most. And now a message from today's sponsor, Squarespace. It's almost 2020. If you don't have a website, what are you even doing? Start your free Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com slash Sam Sheffer and use code Sam Sheffer to get 10% off your first purchase. I've been using Squarespace for years and I continue to use Squarespace for a number of reasons. I use one of Squarespace's clean templates and on my website up top, there's a navigation bar for photos and videos. I use my website as kind of like this futuristic resume. You can go to my website and easily see my work, but it doesn't matter what you do, whether you're a musician, an artist, a photographer, an entrepreneur, a strong website could land you your next gig. Squarespace has 24-7, 365 customer support. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is when you make a change in the back end, it gets updated in real time. So if you're building a website for a client and they wanna see instant changes, Squarespace can do that for you. And Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, so you never have to update or install anything. Head to squarespace.com slash Sam Sheffer and use code Sam Sheffer at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase. Again, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.